specs for the RTX 3060 and 3050 Ti were just leaked. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So in a previous video I discussed how the RTX 3060 would likely have only up to 6 gigabytes of VRAM due to its 192-bit bus, and you know, that's really disappointing to hear, but at least according to this leak from Twitter user Copite7Kimi, that might not be the case. In fact, the RTX 3060 might have up to 12 gigabytes of VRAM, which would make it a much better purchase. So in any case, I'm going to go ahead and read what he has to say on it, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the specs, performance, and release date. So if we go over to his Twitter post here and we read what he has to say, he says, quote, ah, the desktop cards based on GA106 will be called RTX 3060 with 3840 FP32 cores and RTX 3050 Ti with 3584 FP32 cores. I don't know if it will change in the future. He then goes on to say, really, the RTX 3060 will get 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 and the RTX 3050 Ti will get 6 gigabytes. And so I gotta say, after reading that, you know, the core counts of these GPUs are kind of what I expected, but you know, to get 12 gigabytes of VRAM on the 3060 is something that I was expecting and it's certainly possible now there could be a 6 gigabyte and 12 gigabyte variant but I'm assuming since the 3050 Ti is so close in those shader counts to the 3060 that's probably going to be a big differentiating factor and I'm assuming that the 12 gigabyte model will probably be what most people are going to be sold and it might actually be the only model that's sold but in any case let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper in those specs and I got to tell you I got all of this information from tech radar WCCF tech and Twitter user copite7kimi as well as my own speculation so these specs aren't confirmed, but you know, I'm pretty confident that this is what the 3060 and 3050 Ti will look like. And by the way, I will have a link to all my sources in the description below so you can go ahead and read everything that they have to say on the 3060 and 3050 Ti. But starting out with the RTX 3060, the specs are likely going to look like this. So of course, it's going to be based on the GA106-300 GPU. It will likely have 3840 CUDA cores, either 6 gigabytes or 12 gigabytes of capacity. And like I said earlier, 12 gigabytes is probably a little bit more likely here. And it's glad, and you know, I'm glad to see that they are likely going to go with 12 gigabytes as a 6 gigabyte RTX 3060 would have been incredibly disappointing. So that's very nice to see. And then it will be GDDR6 at 14 gigabits per second on a 192 bit bus, leading to a bandwidth of 336 gigabytes per second. And then if we go ahead and we look at the RTX 3050 Ti, this is actually a very interesting GPU. It will also be based on the GA106 die. It will likely have 3584 CUDA cores. It will probably only have 6 gigabytes of memory. I don't think there will be a 12 gigabyte variant, but hey, I could be wrong. And then that memory will also be GDDR6 at 14 gigabits per second on the same 192 bit bus, leading to the same 336 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. And now those specs do look pretty impressive, especially the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte. And I hope this leak does end up being true and we do get a 12 gigabyte variant as that would be a pretty impressive card. But you know, specs don't tell you the whole picture, but they can help us inform on how much performance we'll probably be getting out of the 3060 and 3050 Ti. So if we compare the RTX 3060 specs that we know so far and we compare it to the RTX 3070 well what we can tell here is that the RTX 3070 will have about 50% more cores than the 3060 which you know you would look at that and think well then the 3070 is going to be 50% faster but you know it doesn't scale perfectly so in reality I expect the RTX 3070 to be around 35 to 40% faster than an RTX 3060 which would probably make the RTX 3060 land somewhere around the speed of an RTX 2070 super which is pretty dang impressive so if I mean, if we look at it from this perspective, if you can buy a 2070 Super for cheaper with more VRAM, hey, that's a pretty good deal. And then on top of that, you know, the 3050 Ti is only a little bit slower than the 3060, or at least it should be since the 3060 it has only about 7% more shaders, uh, according to this leak. Well, then, you know, the 3050 Ti would probably also be somewhere around the performance of a 2070 Super, probably a little bit slower. So the overall performance of these cards does look pretty good. And, you know, to be honest with you, I know there's going to be a lot of people say, great, another card we can't really buy because there's no RTX cards available right now. The 30 series is completely sold out. And yes, I hear you. I know, but the stock is getting a lot better. I can tell you, I personally was able to get a couple of different 3070 cards to do some tinkering with review. And I was able to help my friend get a card as well. And so, you know, it is getting a little bit easier to get these 30 series cards, especially the 3070. And I think that's going to hold true as you go down the stack as, you know, when these um, lower end cards appear, less enthusiasts are going to go out and buy these on mass. Now they are going to end up selling more, you're going to end up selling, you know, more 3060s than 3070s. But I wouldn't be surprised if 
there wasn't quite as high demand on day one because the enthusiasts that like the 3070 and 3080 type of cards, they want to have it like right now, whereas the 3060, 3050 type of buyers might be willing to wait a little bit more and won't be, you know, waking up at 6 a.m. to get a card. So you might have a little bit more chance there. And on top of that, like I mentioned, stock does appear to be getting much, much better. Um, there's a Twitter account that you can follow that gives you alerts when stock is coming in of the RTX 30 series cards. And I've just been seeing it go off a whole lot more recently. So there's definitely more stock available right now so but you know that's all nice and great to see and it's great that you'll probably be able to get these cards much more easy than you were able to get a 3080 but we don't really know the release date and the only lead i can find on the release date is that tech radar believes it's going to launch uh somewhere in mid-november now I think that we'll probably get some sort of an announcement in November, but I don't expect to see either of these cards until December. The 3060, I, I believe it's probably going to launch in December, whereas the 3050 Ti might actually only get an announcement in December, and you'll probably see like a quarter one 2020 launch, or sorry, quarter one 2021 launch for the 3050 Ti. I think it's a little bit further out for that card, and you know, hopefully the price is good on these. Um, I'd say that the 3060 will probably be somewhere around $300 and then the 3050 Ti somewhere over $200, but I don't know the exact price right now. I don't have any leads on that. But you know, overall, I'm really glad to see that there's potentially a 12 gigabyte RTX 3060 being at least considered at NVIDIA. And I really do hope they bring that to us because if they bring out a six gigabyte RTX 3060, that's gonna be absolutely embarrassing and nobody should buy a six gigabyte RTX 3060 in 2020 going into 2021 because you gotta remember the, um, GTX 1060 had six gigabytes. The 2060 had six gigabytes. We're on our third generation in a row where they better not try and put six gigabytes on it again. And I think they're getting some good pressure from these big knobby GPUs, the RDNA 2 architecture, where it looks like AMD is going to be bringing 12 gigabytes into that price segment. So I think NVIDIA is being pressured to probably up the gigabyte amount because you got to remember, people who go out and buy a 60 or 50 class card don't probably want to upgrade for a while. You know, they're not enthusiasts. They're not going to be going out and purchasing cards every single year. So you should really be a little bit more generous with that VRAM. And typically NVIDIA has been the opposite of that with their lower end cards. And I hope that AMD is actually able to pressure them into doing it this time. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the RTX 3060 and 3050 Ti leaks? Do you think it's true or do you think that we'll end up getting a 6 gigabyte variant? I'd like to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.